welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Huh? Is that new one? Yes. Oh. She just Sorry. stepped my intro. Sorry. Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, my name is Tandy Gama. Actually, if you're new, I'm Tandy Gama. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to you guys. Uh, starting off the vlog with the visitor, she was here to film her content and I was part of it and thank goodness it didn't require me to do makeup because it's a Sunday and I just look like this. So as I was saying, uh, my sister was here to shoot content, she was shooting her Lele content, I was part of the content, I was just like a prop for her, you know, for her to get paid and her, my <laughs> payment. <laughs> I'm helping you secure the bag. I was a prop for her to secure the bag. So anyway, my payment is food. So she asked, what did mean? Sushi. Um, that is my payment for the day. And she made us like martinis, which is nice. Can I have a bottle of delay? Mm, I can leave this one. Oh, okay. So she's going to leave this bottle for me. Oh, you Guys. want fresh one? No, I'm good with this one. Lay and then she actually mixed this in there. This is the Babylon's Torrent Chenin Blanc. I actually realized when I got the wine, I, did I actually put it on the vlog? I didn't. You did. This? When you got your Babylon's Torrent, mm. you showed us when it arrived. No, I didn't. I put it on, the, on my stories. No, you said, guys, my wine from Babylon's Torrent has arrived. Did I? Yes. Which vlog was that? There is a vlog where you told us guys my wine. I ordered it from Babylon's Torrent. Oh, okay. So she used that anyway. This is, sorry, this is the one I have. That they the, sent you one before or something to try. I don't know. I don't know if I shared it in my vlog, but I actually don't remember showing them because I. How did you get the first one to try it? I ordered them. I remember when I ordered them. I didn't even unbox and put it in my fridge. You show. You told us guys my wine from Babylon's Torrent has arrived. Oh, okay. Well, I said it, but I didn't show it. This is the wine. This is the wine. She used it in her martini. And then she put... What is this, my friend? Amberosh. Gin. 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 Nandun? Maraschino. Maraschino. Liqueur. I see that's less the pen. You put everything... Well, according to her measurements, ask her on her channel for the measurements, put in a shake out with ice, shake it up, and then you have yourself a martini. A martini. It doesn't taste as strong as normal martinis, I'll say, because normal martinis, goodness. Mm. Let me show you. I have three more bottles of this. This wine is so good. I would recommend. I think it makes sense why they have a, a gold award international challenge 2023 this is why you need to have a wine fridge you must always be ready um i'm probably gonna fall so i've got one more i'm gonna get another one of this one because these two are the is this candid I don't know how to pronounce this. I have two of these. I haven't tried this one. If you guys have, please let me know how it is. And then um, this is the Chenin Blanc that I said is really good. So I'm just going to order maybe two more bo two more bottles of this. And then I actually wanted to order... I had filled my cart with some wine from Idiom. And then I forgot to check out. So I'm going to order some more and check out. This bottle is precious to me. This is from 2010. This is a 2018. Y'all actually got this for me for my birthday. This bottle is actually Tina's wine. And then this is actually a gift I got from Simonsek. They sent me this for Valentine's Day. So it kind of makes sense why it's like pink. They sent me a Brut Rosé. And um, just like a rosé. So I'm going to try these. Just don't have an occasion yet this someone also sent me this for valentine's day chocolate bar so yeah we're slowly filling up this thing it takes 40 bottles by the way um i just need to order so i'm gonna order some wine this month 
Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm upset with myself or Zara. Like, I tried on this shirt in the fitting room and I tried it on a medium. And it's really expensive for nothing because the material is not that great. I tried this on in the fitting room when it was a medium and I was like, no, I need a small. So I just quickly grabbed a small and I didn't go fit it on again. And I just took it. And like, why does it have a makeup stain? And if I were to go and try to return this, do I need to tell you what the story would be? No. We all know it will be a fail. Anyway, I got this and then I got a dress that I'm going to show you now that I'm wearing to the Spotify event. And then the day after the Spotify event, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wake up. I don't know if I'm going to be alive or I have another event. I'm not going to mention the event just in case. I, w I can't wake up because <gasps> we're hosting a party guys I'm throwing a house party party quick dilemma guys I need to change my linen on the bed and I don't have an iron still <sighs> okay I live alone no one's gonna judge me if I have an iron bedding it's just that I will know do you ever like think about the fact that sometimes you always like I will know that I my bedding is not iron it's not about like people will judge me it's just that I will look at it and see it creased and be like that is not what your bed usually looks like so Tandazela AI this week we are all coming together this is a Tandazeli AI Dingy Malia AI Guys, I'm laughing. Biggest can't be choosers, okay? So, yeah, Samsung delivered me a new TV because I said I wanted it smaller. And this is what we have. Let me just bring this down. This is what we have. We have a 32 inch versus the 55 in there. Like, is it bad that I want to open both of them and compare, like, which one I want to keep now? But I know I'm just going to take the 32 because this is going to be the best solution for my bedroom um, size-wise. This is perfect. And it's the frame TV. So can you imagine when it's off? The vision. I see it. I see it. Welcome to my penthouse. Welcome to our penthouse. <laughs> so it's officially D Day where I'm hosting. Sorry, guys, I did not. So we are hosting the. Sorry! We are hosting the Spotify um, 
uh, event uh, in collaboration with Maybelline. So I just wanted to take you guys through the penthouse and show you what I get to sleep in tonight. Me? Yes, obviously I'm just saying me. Oh. Obviously everyone knows you're sleeping here. Yeah? Starting off is this bathroom that is from the entrance. So all the guests get to come use this because I did have one special request that I will show you. Um, so, so when you enter, literally comes through this. We've got a little uh, dining table here. Our welcome note, and it says for Tandiwe, Christine, with Melo, Nozipo, and esteemed guests, welcome to Hallmark House Hotel. It is a pleasure and an honor to have you as guests. Enjoy your stay. So my friends are sleeping here. They did organize a fruit bowl for us. This is our welcome fruit bowl. Guys, I love watermelon. Mm. I love the... Um, that, let me stop chewing. Oh. Sorry. This is a little smoke area. We've got black coffee on the wall there. I'll show you guys the views. Let me do this so you guys can see the view. That is the view of the city. And then from here, I'm gonna take you guys straight down. Should we do the should I do the kitchen first? Let me just do the side first. Yeah, do the way I did it. So from here, you have we me. have this area. Then we have this girl here, and we have the kitchen, which is stunning. I love the sink. Mm. And then I want this now. Ooh. Okay, really fancy. Um, and then we have that place there. We've got we have an, an is that an espresso machine? Yeah, an yes. espresso machine. Nice thing about this, you can actually take out this and play. A D, a, the DJ can DJ here, right? Um, and then it goes. Why is this a stove? No, it's not a stove. Uh, why is? But they said it can't off. This is, so where do people put oh, this? The there's a stove. This is for the DJing thing. And then we come to the lounge over here. This is our lounge. And then we have a cigar lounge there. So let me do that. That is the cigar lounge with city view as well. And then over here we have all of this and the laptop because I did make a special request. My special request was that I would like for us to have karaoke after karaoke after we have the party so after party in my room now let me take you guys to the main event which is uh me and tina's bedroom <laughs> Ooh, it's gorgeous it is so stunning so from here when you've walked in the penthouse let me take you downstairs okay so when you walk down and you turn around this is the main bedroom but you can come down from the lounge as well if you guys saw the staircase there then we have a seating area over here me and tina have a little coffee station over here also an espresso just for us to like you know make coffee tomorrow morning then we have our bedroom this is me and Tina's rooms. We have our ring lights. We have our pajamas. So this was a collab with Matosa as well. If you can see, if you guys are familiar with Matosa. So it's the blanket, it's the pillows. And then these are our pajamas. So cute. All from Spotify and Maybelline. And then also from here, from me and Tina's room when you wake up also a city view and a place to sit so that's really cute then guys this is the most gorgeous bathroom ever i cannot wait to get ready in here um we have it feels like it's almost like a 360 view so city view that side as well and over here we have the bathroom with amazing sink like this is a beautiful sink then we have a waterfall shower here is the waterfall shower we just like stand in here tomorrow and then you know 
Then we have that mirror over there. Big mirror for us when we get ready. Still need to fix my hair. We have a standing mirror for our outfits and a place to sit when we're done. And this is, yeah, also in the toilets here. And then what is in here? I don't know. Secret entrance. I like all the lights, down lights and everything. So from this bedroom, this, this penthouse is big guys. I mean like from up there. From this bedroom, we have the walk-in closet, very big walk-in closet. Uh, yeah, we have our ironing board and stuff here. I'm just gonna walk you guys through quickly. And then this is my friend's room. I don't know who's gonna take this room, but yeah, they'll decide. And then this is their bathroom. However, for this, for these guys, they've got a big shower there, toilet, bathtub. We have a little gym situation here. We have a study here. Okay, and then also we have another gym area over here. Is that you coming down? Then we have another bathroom here so there's more than enough bathrooms for everyone to use we have our cinema cinema the couch little cinema too bad i won't even get to use this that's seven minutes of me doing this house tour and like <laughs> there's still so much to see then we have this bathroom for um last guest over here there we go um there you go. And this is the bed. It also has a city view. So like I said, I feel like this whole penthouse is like a 360. Um, let me just turn it. There we go. I feel like it has a 360 view. But yeah, guys, that is the penthouse. And then from here, when I want to go back upstairs, we literally just walk up these stairs with the city view beside us and yeah there we go and we're back upstairs okay let's eat something so that we are ready for tonight welcome home guys i'm about to cook <laughs> Like, I mean, you know, when I picked these pots out, I mm. picked them out because, you know, this just matches, like, the aesthetic, the aesthetic of my home. You guys know I love under-counter lighting. Uh. It's just a given. There is no way. Let uh. me just do this. Sorry. Like, you know, under-counter lighting, guys. It's just, there's no way we're not going to. Okay. Wait, I'm sorting out my lighting here. All right, guys, yeah. You tag me. Huh? I haven't finished. Is this guy telling us? Oh, you can order. Get you like it. Maldwan. Papa, you Maldwan. I'm telling you, I'm going to eat one ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> can I see? <laughs> 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 Maldwan. 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 Okay, and then keep up, huh? where is the beans? Papa. I mean, now we're gonna be gassy. <laughs> <laughs> you better no, make sure. Gassy. Yo, guys, my mom, it's like she knew perfect timing to bring the beans, the maltwanis, if you didn't know, and then, yeah, the papa. <laughs> the papa. Look at this. Ooh. Look at this. I want a normal bathroom in my house. You want to? Ah! Okay, now me. Oh, oh my god. Like this is proper hosting, like host with the most. Mm -hmm. And then you'd place your drinks in there. Mm -hmm. Lile, why did we bring our Lile? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this, is, the, this is the fridge. Is that the fridge? Yeah. Okay, we're going to have some champagne now. 
Can we have one plate? Champagne. We are having. What champagne is good? Tartinger. What's that? Tartinger. Tartinger. Oh, you don't know it. The French of the of more weight. It's more weight, isn't it? More weight. Okay, let's dish up and eat. Then go bath. Yeah. I'm just so matching the thing. Join me! Because you're like, I am mad, like you're aesthetic. I can't see you're coming back home. No! You're coming from a trip. I love it for me, Chomi. You're coming this back home. This is so nice. The black coffee penthouse. Where's that? Period. Because it's not one as here. Really? I don't eat Martana's. You don't eat Martana's? <laughs> I've never eaten them. What? Maybe I should do a mukbang and try them. Oh, don't you have that? You've never eaten Martana's. Imagine what sort of. I've never had Mukhoru. You lie. You lie. I promise. My mum and sister, yeah. My dad and I were just like. Mm -hmm. Even Martana's? Even Martana's, I've never had. Oh, and it's so cute. Hello, TG King. 100k subbies in the hands. Welcome Here to my is. house party. party. Google House Party. Come again, come my sisters up in here. Hosting. Hosting. How do you feel? Did you show them the door? Did you show them? Yes. yes. Let me show you, friend. Oh. Guys, we are ready. The hosts are ready. Tina. Okay. Stay there. Okay. Hey, guys. Hello. As my snipers hit their marks And your guards fall down From a rifle to the heart Like clap, clap Let them fall slow I know you had your fears You can let them all go And most women are motivated So I act accordingly But this is so refreshing That it means a little more to me Dedicating time When I really can't afford to be I'll provide protection If you open up the door for me Couple stares, couple texts Couple dates, couple I think that we're ready Couple I think we should wait Are we acting like a couple? I'm just trying to get it straight Cause I'm over here convinced That it's too early for mistakes And then Ooh, you had to change up the game Oh, the weather is not the same Now there's only cloudy days I can't stand the rain In July, July. There were fireworks exploding Exploding Follow the rules and told you everything you had to know Had you over every night, every night was passionate Plus you met my mother even if it was an accident I'm confused, tell me where we go wrong I was sure that I would be with you for so long I was planning on this being something worth mentioning Energy invested in someone I saw potential in Who killed Shivery, they need to get their sentence in Meanwhile we arguing and I can't get a sentence in just as I predicted, here we go again. They always say the hottest love has the coldest end. Ooh, you had to change up the game. Oh, the weather is not the same. Now there's only cloudy days. I can't stand the rain in July. Oh, July. There were fireworks exploding.
evening and my co-host is my sister Christine Gamma and most of you know her, she's at the back over there. <laughs> so if you're wondering what her co-host duties are, if you're here and your plus one ditched you, she is your plus one. If you are here and you need someone to talk to, she is gonna listen to you so definitely walk up to her if you need that but I just wanted to say thank you so much for honoring our invite um, and I'm so honored to be the first person ever to co-curate a playlist the get ready with music playlist with Spotify okay so let's start with some housekeeping okay um, so if you are looking for the bathrooms, if any of you need the bathrooms, it's just straight down outside. You're going to take the left past the dance studio and you will find the bathroom over there. I know it is quite a distance, but you guys do need to get in your steps in case you are with Discovery. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much. Um, Alright, so this evening, it's all about fun food, um, content, and you know, when you're getting ready, we all think music, right? I don't know, does anyone here get ready without music? No. Do you? Do you? <laughs> okay, I hope you all do because if you do it silently, I'm really scared of you. <laughs> and does anyone here not have Maybelline in their makeup kit? Because if you don't, I am side-eyeing you. <laughs> Okay? Anyway, so if you haven't checked out the Spotify and Maybelline booths, please do so. And we know that you guys want to keep your stories lit. You know, it's all about posting in real time. So you do get your images in real time. Does anyone ever have the issue where a photographer says you'll get your pictures tomorrow and you're just like, excuse me? <laughs> right? Okay, so if you need your images and everything, you are able to get them in real time, either via airdrop or email. How cool is that? Cool. Okay, so speaking of content, our hashtag for the evening is get ready with music, Maybelline and Spotify. So it is hashtag GRWM Maybelline X Spotify. Okay? And the accounts to tag for this evening are Spotify Africa and Maybelline. We want to see this event from your point of view. I've already seen a couple of you post your get ready with me and they look absolutely stunning. I've seen a couple of you already get ready with me with a playlist. Absolutely love it. Do you guys enjoy any of the songs on there? Okay, that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to share some interesting facts for you, okay? So on Spotify, and specifically in South Africa, 90% of playlist streams with the name Get Ready With Me and Makeup come from women. Amazing, right? And the top age groups for streaming and creating these playlists are Gen Z and Millennials because we love a good get ready with me moment, okay? So in 2023 alone, South Africa saw an increase of 285% in the streams of get ready with me and makeup related playlists. So it's no surprise that Spotify Africa launched a new get ready with me playlist the playlist is made specifically for Africa and Christine and myself are the first ever co-curators <laughs> together with Spotify's editorial team in Sub-Saharan Africa. And then on Spotify South Africa is the top market streaming playlists with the word get ready with me or makeup in sub-saharan africa so if you are a beauty influencer and you're looking for a new niche definitely try out your get ready with me's and your outfits and everything because it's it's gonna work perfectly it's gonna fit right like with everything that you do okay um so i know you guys will love our playlist as much as i do 
and you can expect trending music such as Stradivan. Does anyone here know how to do the dance? <laughs> I know, I can't. I can't do a dance, but I know makeup can't defeat you, right? The dance can defeat you, but a makeup, like getting ready can't defeat you. So that's the good part, okay. And then you can expect music from Iron Star, Rush, Tyler's Truth or Dare, and more. So if you haven't already checked it out, I'm asking you please to check it out on Spotify and let it be your everyday playlist routine because ever since it launched it's literally been my go-to song like a playlist like today when me and my sister were getting ready the first song we played was Rush by Ira so I hope you guys enjoy it um, we do have a jam-packed evening for you guys which includes a performance Yes, from a very talented artist, Bilala, and a DJ set by an incomparable DJ, Duap. So be sure to take as many pictures as you want um, and create FOMO, guys. Like, this is the first ever Get Ready With Music event, and I think it's been a long time coming. We needed one. And also, it wouldn't be a sleepover party without a karaoke party. Okay, so after our events here, please don't forget to come over to my penthouse for a sundown, like a night cap, okay? And you'll all enjoy a little bit of karaoke and all of that, so thank you so much. I don't know if you understand how much I need this and this. I don't know if you can even hear me shaking. But wow, what a party. Woo. I'm so hungover. Guys, I don't know if you guys watch Adulton. Boyce is like telling me, she's like, oh my gosh, this penthouse is literally who? So this is so. This penthouse is the same penthouse. If you guys watch Adulting, if you guys know Uboma in the series Adulting, this is his place. Mm. This is his penthouse. And he did a lot of things here. He even had sex 
in my bed. <laughs> There's a meeting in my bed. In my bed. <laughs> so I'm like shocked. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then my the boys is like, no, Chomi, it was acting. I'm like, but still. It is acting, Chomi. My busy lab downstairs <laughs> in that bed. <laughs> Hey guys, I really want to wear this blazer today and as you can see it has all this like um, lint you guys saw me remove the lint on the couch and everyone was asking me where I got this so this is like a, a lint shaver and I got this off Sheen I will link it in this vlog I remember I had linked it in the last vlog but people actually don't look at my description box so please always check my description box just in case so yeah I'm doing I'm prepping this and I'm hoping it'll be good so I want all this white lint stuff gone I don't know if anyone remembers me saying I needed to move my important things from this laptop before it dies guys please do not procrastinate because look at my screen yesterday it just woke up with one strip and I was like okay I did my things took what I needed and I just left it let it be and this is what I wake up to this morning it is not functioning anymore completely completely dead if this is not a sign from God because I was asking him for a sign <laughs> for something completely different something that we will not discuss now and um i guess this is the sign <laughs> Yo. vlogging after the event and like things just went haywire oh i hate the sound let me get my mic i just want to be able to cancel out the builders i always completely forget that they're building next door and usually i just end up talking and you guys probably can't hear me is this battery low i feel like this is battery low We'll see how far we can take it. Okay, so after I left the penthouse, after I took the shower, I came home to leave my things. And the plan was that I leave my um, luggage because I had so many cameras, equipment and stuff. And I don't want to just like park it, go to the event, park with all my stuff in there, all my laptops. I had Tina's laptop, so I came home. And guys, I tell you, I kid you not, I left here rushing. left here rushing and then to my surprise i get to the event and i realize i don't have my camera on me so i was like oh shucks i don't have my camera on me so i guess we're not gonna vlog but i'll just show you like the pictures that i got at the event and if i have any little snippets i'll just include them here and then basically you guys know that week was the week of like Easter and it was a really important week in the Bible and I just felt like I had some unfinished business with God so I really spent my week um, and time with God I was like praying a lot like I didn't miss a midnight prayer 
I did the seven days midnight prayer. Even when we were at the event, I literally excused myself at midnight. And thank goodness, I don't know if that was God, but I had forgotten to put my alarm for midnight. And out of the blue, at midnight, the karaoke stopped working. So when it stopped working and I looked at the time, I was like, God, if that's you speaking to me, thank you. I know you're trying to give me a sign that this is your time now. We had a good time. We've had a good time with my guests, but let me, you know, just take a moment, excuse myself and spend some time with you. And I literally did that, went downstairs to the room um, and prayed. And as I did that, when I excused myself, there was a couple of girls that also actually wanted to like excuse themselves to pray, but didn't know how to. And, you know, when that happened, when I excused myself, they just joined me and we all... You know, took the time to pray a little mi a bit at midnight. And it was, it was nice. I really loved it. Let me just put this camera somewhere else. It's just not making sense here. Yeah. It was nice. Um, um, and basically my whole week was the same. I Because I was spending a lot of time praying at night, I was quite tired during the day and I had a lot of like content to work on during the day so i didn't really vlog so which brings us which brings us to this week when we are actually going to cape town for the event in cape town so the event in Joburg was last week tuesday and today is wednesday i'm flying out to cape town because the event is tomorrow and i won't even be there for long we leave very early in the morning coming back because my co-host <laughs> my co-host is a 9 to 5 -er. so she has to be at her 9 to 5 at the time when she needs to cl clock in so we will be taking an early flight back to Joburg so I'm only there basically for like if you count the hours a day but I'm just so excited to see the Cape Town girlies and to see uh, my friends there too so yeah that's the vibe i've just been packing um i'm wearing my jeans that don't fit these are from zara this top is from zara my belt is from coach and then i'm just like styling my hair because even if i'm not wearing makeup i just like looking put together you know so if I'm going to the airport and I'm not wearing makeup, like hair, how your hair looks is so important because it literally just sets the tone. And you guys know, Steam Pod will forever be that girly. She'll forever be famous. Oh, I've run out of water. Makes sense. I put it on the wrong setting it was so yellow i was like wondering like what's going on is this the setting that my camera is always on every day and no it was not giving okay so i will see you guys when i go pick up my sister so what i've actually done today is that i'm trying i'm trying out the pre-booked parking this is the scale i was weighing myself today I'm actually going to go for a run tomorrow morning on the promenade. So I'm trying out the pre-booked parking. So I pre-booked and we're just going to drive to the airport so that on Friday morning when we arrive and we land, we are not like waiting so long for an Uber and being delayed. We can just get in the car and I can go drop the missus at the office. And then, yeah, my day, I'll just carry on with my day. I actually love this hairspray. Um, doesn't have a lot of build up like other hairsprays. So I would definitely. Oh, did I just swallow some hairspray? I would definitely recommend. And that is how I style my hair.
and hey guys i just got to santon quick errand i actually need to oh i was about to close my thing i need a new memory card i need an additional memory card because um the one i have is already full and i have a vlog on here and i have so much content to shoot in cape town um in terms of brand work so i didn't want to have to like delete my vlog to make space like this actual vlog so i'm just gonna get an additional one now from camera land and yeah i will see you guys it's hot why are you running away <laughs> nah I got your customers and now you're ready to go in. Last time you, you, you didn't ask, so I was just showing up. Hi, okay, so I am now. Okay, now you're ready. Yes, I'm Guys, I'm here to see Steve because I need a, an additional memory card. Uh, the other one's full. So, yeah. Thank you guys for coming to buy your cameras from him. He says quite a few of you came. So, I appreciate it. Yeah, they've been going. So, if you guys are looking for cameras, come to Camera Land Santin. Lock my door first just for the people that panicked the last time they saw me get into the car on the vlog. Let me push you somewhere where you can see me properly. Um oh my goodness, no, that's not a good spot. Is that a good spot? Um if I turn on the and the steering wheel goes down. I think so. Guys. So can you believe actually i am really happy that a lot of you went in and ordered your cameras through sibo um at camera land like you guys make me proud anyway can you believe that i actually went to this kim and got what i needed and this like this is this is my little packet um and my little packet from this kim cost me 941 it's two items i ran out of magnesium and a lot of you like to ask me which magnesium i use specifically it is this one um and these are 120 so this is for three months so i'm good for three months and then i literally just got my vitamin d because that's also running out so i just noticed with the packaging they said this is an upgraded formula this is the one that's actually recommended by practitioners so if you're looking for good magnesium and good vitamin d then get the metagenics brand highly recommended yeah my memory card was 2099 2.1 guys being a content creator will cost you life so thank goodness this is a business expense mug account DM. Yeah. The business account is still my account, but you know what I'm saying? It didn't come from my account, so it feels a little better knowing that I didn't have to pay for it myself. The business paid for it because the business funds itself. So let's go home, let's go pack our clothes, and then let's go pick up Tina and head to the airport. Uh, yeah. This is us at the airport in darkness, bah, 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 bah. waiting for a flight. So there is no 
water at the airport, so we can't use the slow lounge. There was no food in the slow lounge, so they closed it because obviously no food, no water means they can't make anything. I yeah, can't wash dishes and there is no power you can't use escalators there's no aircon nothing it's just sitting in the dark so when y'all y'all don't understand what low shedding is this is what low shedding is it is what it is the sheds the sheds at the airport before I fly copy my setting because mine looks too orange <laughs> yeah what I'm is on, it i'm on the first one that we normally use because the, the normal one yeah because the lighting is warm so okay, so you guys go first again. okay so when we enter basically this is our suite um we have this big mirror for i guess when you exit and when you enter you can just see yourself and then we come through here which is our lounge so at least we have a little cute lounge area um then we have some food they ordered us a platter because we landed really late it's already uh, past 10 kitchens were closed everywhere so they ordered us a platter way in advance so and they kept it warm for us so that we could have something to eat dinner because we didn't have dinner let me see. I know we have a balcony. I don't know where. To... Ooh, Chummy, did you come have a look at the balcony? Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. So this is our balcony. Oh, and I'll put the I'll put on a chair. I can just get a table. So guys, so this is our balcony, not much to see here, and then, there we go. Alright, so from the balcony, we go straight into our bedroom. This is like a really massive bed. I was telling Tina we could like fit as three of us. Like when I get married and I have a family, I need a bed this big. There needs to be space for our kids to come like fit there in the middle when we watch movies over the weekend guys comment down below if that's something you really do as um families do you guys like have a little party on the bed or not um i don't know what's outside this window let's have a look see oh there's not really much it's nothing to see and then let's have a look at our bathroom and then this is our bathroom another grand mirror this is where we do all get ready with me we've got a huge bathtub toilet nothing to see towel rack so yeah i absolutely love it i'm just super tired i i honestly just want to rest i'm exhausted I've had a very long week already. Tuesday felt so long because we had a long weekend. So it basically meant like all my work had to be done yesterday for the week. So can you imagine what sort of week I've had? Haven't been to the gym in a long time. Miss it. So we're definitely running tomorrow morning. But yeah, let's get comfortable. It was about five minutes ago When I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before I say hello, tell the girls I'm gonna meet up On second time that ain't the way to go I gotta give a game proper Spit it so she get it, there she is, I gotta stop her Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a smile? I'm 
I'm out of time She's out the door, I gotta go for mine Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time She's out the door, I gotta go for mine Got to go see her So what's it? Let it make me sweat. When? Make me harder. Uh, now that you're part of them. No, that's all me. Who else makes you lose your breath? In the who else makes you lose your breath? Ah, Tina. When I wait to let Anton, who makes you lose your Who makes you lose your breath? No one right now. <laughs> Make me swear. Make me honor. Make me lose my breath. Make me oh, oh. Good morning, guys. So I'm off to breakfast. I just left my nine to five in there. She's in a meeting. Um, this is what I'm wearing. This was originally supposed to be my outfit for running, but it was so dark this morning. So I didn't go run because, wait, where's this staircase? I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay we'll wear what we have. Yeah, guys, let's make it look. Remember, this is the community on get on this is a get ready with me event. We don't want to show the last part of getting ready. We want people to, ex to feel like they were there with you getting ready. <laughs> yeah, Spashila, but because what we are trying to do here, we're trying to show people, listen, it might be an audio it might, we might Spotify might be known for audio. But only yeah. leaves in your day-to-day -day routine. Yeah. Like you didn't go back. You know in your back, that, that, that sequence where you did like, you left. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing with you, so I, It seemed like I get so much and don't get nothing back. I really